Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seron Kagura Burst Renewal. Oh boy. So we had some rather fun experiences with Yomi. <laughs> that moveset is absolutely ridiculous though. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and see. Um, well, I want to figure out what this is all about. I'm not really sure what to look at the... <laughs> Generally, you can kind of figure out, like, who you're playing as in the thumbnail. Because, you know, the thumbnail will show you, like, the two characters involved, and then it'll also give you the requirement on the right that tells you, oh, defeat Kibari. Oh, there we go. This one is just... Heal the body and mind. And there's just a picture of the two of them. I totally know who I'm playing as. I probably have no idea. Oh, we're playing as Mirai? Really? Okay. Ah, this type of dialogue. Mistress Haruka gives a fearless smile. To her, victory is a foregone conclusion. Not yet, though. Not beaten just yet. Homura gives me an uneasy look. It's alright. I'll protect her. I have to protect her. At this point, I'm down to my instincts. Right. Gotta do this. Oh no, what? I take a deep breath. I extend my right hand. <laughs> I heard- I know it's koi, koi, but <laughs> I heard boy, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. I extend my right hand. Oh. I was hoping I'd get the card with the kimono wearing a man holding the umbrella, but instead I got the one with the strip of red paper with Akayoroshi. Akayoroshi? Akayoroshi? I don't know what that word means, I'll have to see. My instincts have failed. Is this old maid? Are they playing old maid? <laughs> what? Mrs. Hargo shows off her Hanafuda hand. Oh, Hanafuda. She smiles in triumphant satisfaction. <laughs> Oh no. Mrs. Haruka looks at Homura. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No way. If Homura has to take the punishment, she's in for a world of hurt. I mean, in most cases, yes. The team, if it, you lose a team battle, the entire team is in fault. Unless somebody throws it deliberately, then that's a different story. Oh no. This is how they- this is how they're doing this. Boop <laughs> slap! Is that what I think it is? As I sit there dumbfounded, Mrs. Haruka stretches out both hands. <laughs> that sound effect though. <laughs> Mrs. Haruka swings both hands inward, delivering a pair of mighty swat stars. <laughs> Cause you know, this is what they do on a train. In front of a bunch of other people. <laughs> the air around her practically vibrates from the bounce. <laughs> it's an attack designed to more to humiliate than harm. Oh no. She repeats the, she repeats the performance, now aimed at me. <laughs> oh no. That <laughs> passes by my chest without making contact. This is going too far for a simple punishment game. A universe of fury is born in my head. I, I'm not surprised. 
I glare at the echo. <laughs> this entire scene is just absolutely ridiculous. I glare at the Aka Yoroshi card in my hand. Unforgivable. If it weren't for this stupid card. I stuffed the card into my mouth. I stuff one card after another into my mouth. Yeah, they can't. You can't play the game anymore if you if you destroy the cards. Which is how it makes a grab for me. Gulp! I sold them before she could. Re Did you really just eat cards? What? Thanks, Yomi. This rebuke flies out at us. I'd like to see the other passengers are all staring. I'm not surprised. I mean, you literally just. <laughs> oh boy. I have serious concerns about this, but... That... that too. We quiet down, and the sound of the train again reverberates with the passenger car. The constant steady rhythm feels nice. This is what it feels like to travel. As we exit the tunnel, the scent of salt water drifts in. That is a very interesting lighthouse design. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I'm so used to, like, lighthouses not looking like that, you know, obviously not looking like that. But I guess it's an interesting way to look at it. That middle area has got to be a pretty nice view, for sure. I peer out the window. Wait, so this is a good this is gonna be the beach episode too. Oh no. Without even a thought for modesty, Miss Haruka starts taking off her cloak. <laughs> You're still in the train car! <laughs> still in the train car! Are you what are you doing? Homura jumps up and tries to stop her. Um, I don't, I'm, nope, I can't even say anything to that. No cause for alarm, huh? When I'm with Mrs. Haruka, uh, with Mistress Haruka, why is that so hard for me to say? I feel like her, her crazy rubs off on me. Hikage follows suit. Oh god, Yomi. This reprimand booms like a thunderclap. The whole car goes silent, all eyes turn to her. She shrinks down in embarrassment, like a turtle pulling back into its shell. Why are we even going to the beach? It's not because of a mission. It's because we got a full day off from school. It all started yesterday. Master Shizune suddenly walked to the ninja room and gave us a strange announcement. We stared at her in confusion. Master Shizune didn't hesitate at all in responding. Though we didn't quite steal the super secret ninja art scroll, we did acquire a valuable piece of information. I don't know if that's entirely accurate. That could have just been because that scroll was a trap? Was it some kind of a trap from Hanzo? Or could that be a function of the scroll itself? We don't know what it all means yet, but it'll play a role in future planning for sure. So they rewarded us with this day trip to the beach. A reward for our first successful mission, but my thoughts are still jumbled. No one else has said anything. 
but I doubt I'm the only one who feels this way. It's just Haruka acting. It's just Haruka's acting really cheerful. But I think she's hiding how upset she is at losing her team. Oh right. We knew our mission would mer missions would be merciless, but having to fight our own. If our failure led to valuable info, I'm sure they'll use that to help us next time we go for the scroll. Also, only the lower ranks shall we lost their minds. What if it had to ha what if it had happened to the elite class? I tried to talk to Homura about it earlier, but all she said was She didn't seem bothered at all. That doesn't ease my worries though. Maybe that's because I I can almost feel myself going berserk too. I'm weaker than the other elites, physically and mentally. That's probably why the scroll affected me more. I held it off this time, but what if it happens again? If I lose control, I could wind up attacking my friends. No. I don't want to. I don't want to fight them. After changing into my swimsuit, I walked out of the dressing room, squinting at the sun. Love is an empty expanse of blue sky. The ocean spreads out before us. I've never been able to tan at the beach, but I've always liked it anyway. I feel a tap on my shoulder and turn around to see Mrs. Haruka smiling at me. She's probably right. Dwelling on what happened certainly isn't going to do me any good. I decided to change my attitude and try to have fun. Miss Shisaraka doffs her t-shirt. She reveals a pink bikini that barely covers her at all. I'm not surprised. I'm wearing a comparatively modest regulation school swimsuit. Also not surprised. It's the only one I own. Seeing how shy and fidgety I am, Miss Shisaraka flashes me a delighted grin. Her eyes crawl over every inch of me. <laughs> yeah, pretty accurate. Homer is covered up in a towel. You know, sometimes I wonder. Haruka is a lot more like Katsuragi at the beach. It's weird that they paired her with a Hibari, who's kind of the more shy girl. Then again, Mirai is the more... It's probably the... well... Yeah, Mirai is probably... I don't know. I would imagine... no, I'm gonna say that, no. I think Mirai is probably the shyest of the five here. Without a moment's delay, Mistress Haruka snatches away Homura's towel. A scanty black bikini barely covers her large chest. Again, not surprised. That's not what I expected her to say. <laughs> Yomi. Yomi, I don't, no, Yomi isn't really the shy one. I don't know. I wonder who is... Okay. Who do you guys think is the shyer one of the two? Yomi or Mirai? I want to still say Mirai. Mirai. Yeah, why did I say... I messed, I messed up that one. Marai. What? <laughs> Mirai, yeah. But I'm still thinking it's got to be her. Yomi does have, like, instances where she is, but it's nowhere near to where I would imagine Mirai being. Sis steps out of the dressing room, showing off a two-piece swimsuit as... Accented with a cute frilly skirt. Haruka, please. Sis ignores the predatory look on Haruka's face and strolls down to the beach. Mm -hmm. She probably has like the most plain, the plainest thing in the world. Probably because it's also Hikage, also Snake. Finally, Hikage makes her grand entrance. Oh, 
I probably should have anticipated the snake powder naturally. Mrs. Haruka is a one-woman fan club. <laughs> With all that out of our way, everyone starts running towards the water. <laughs> There's only one thing on my mind looking at this CG, and it's what on earth are they doing to Mirai? <laughs> Why is she being tortured? It looks like she's being tortured. Meanwhile, Snake goes over there just like... Oh, a ball. <laughs> Homer leaps into the water, closely followed by Sis and Hikage. I end up sitting down on the beach, watching everyone else splash around. But try as I might, I can't be happy as they are right now. They're all out there, laughing and playing, but I can't stop thinking about almost going feral. I'm not scared of fighting the enemy, but I'm more afraid of finding my friends than I am di of dying. I was bullied all the time as a kid, but in the elite class, I have friends for the first time in my life. So what do I do? How do I avoid fighting them? Really, the answer is simple. I shouldn't be at Hebijo. If I quit being an evil shinobi, I wouldn't, won't have to be with them in battle. They're calling to me, waving their hands. For today, at least, I want to forget my troubles and just have fun like any other girl. But I'm not sure I can. The summer sunlight cinches my skin. I turn my back on the beach and run like my life depends on it. Okay. She's kind of having like the same thoughts as like Kibari does. Like obviously, to we've already played the Hanzo arc, so it's. But she's having like kind of the same second thoughts as. Uh, you know, your body did during that arc, interestingly enough. The snake is going to help the cat. Wait, what? I was fighting puppets. Okay. I I'm pressing X to doubt. Are we fight a oh, okay. I guess we're fighting then. I want to believe I'm playing as, uh... I'm playing as Mirai, right? But... And the clothes are back on. <laughs> The game needs to automatically put us in swimsuit mode here. Right, I forget. She has... There we go. Uh, scroll? No scroll. Ooh. 
Do I need to do this? No, not really. That wasn't so bad. I actually feel like I'm doing decent as Mirai for once. That should not have been a parry, but I'll take it. No, let's... I'll take it. <laughs> I'm like, that should not have been a parry, but I'll take it. Bing. <laughs> that face. Do the thing. No, wrong one. <laughs> Why is that a... <laughs> that was... Not the angle I wanted to see that on. This is the better one. Perfect. God, Burst is so good. I don't think I took a hit, but I'll have to see. I think that's like the first time I actually played as Mirai and I actually didn't get hit. Hmm. <laughs> Where'd the swimsuit go? <laughs> I really wish they put her back in the swimsuit because at least that would make sense. She's gotta be burning up in that uniform right now. Hmm? いまさらそれは無理ちゃうかわしらは選抜チームなんやからなあなんかあったんならいいやわしでよかったら話を聞くでだから私に構わないでって言ってるでしょ that face though mirai snake <laughs> Did I take damage? I did not! Awesome, cool! I got a couple levels there. Yeah! I mean, it wasn't an elite fight, so I imagine I'll do decently there. Oh boy! Swimsuits are now available at the shop. Did I just complete an arc? Is that chapter 3 finished? Oh yeah, that's an arc finish. Mirai's just gone. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, I wasn't laughing at your that wasn't laughing at your tongue. I totally wasn't laughing at your tongue. <laughs> the snake is strong in this one. Mirai is literally gone. That must have been the end of a chapter. Don't think I have anything else. I really haven't really used this much in the overall arc, or the overall storyline, have I? I've just kind of been playing the episodes with stock characters. <laughs> I guess I do use the panoramic mode. I did use it originally for thumbnails. I need to get back in and get those finished. Because <laughs> I haven't touched those in a long time, which kind of sucks. So, anyway. Um... It must have been. Ch we're in chapter 4 now, right? No, we're still chapter 3? Bring Mirai back. Ooh, Hikage. I should try to uh, make these better. But I'd rather not because 
I'm not gonna get anywhere on the story. Let's go ahead and just keep going. Then I shouted at me, then turned off, turned and ran off down the beach. Yeah, I figure it's like I want to continue through the story. I know I'm gonna hit a wall again eventually, and I'll have to level up. But for the time being, I think right now I'll be fine. I didn't know what was going on with her. All I could do was stand there, dumbfounded. Watching her shrinking form disappear into the distance gave me a weird, dark sensation in my chest. She still hasn't come back. We've been given an extra three days at the beach to look for her. Habitual students who go AWOL are treated as renegades since they know classified information. The punishment's about as harsh as you could expect. A few years in prison at the least. So far, Master Su uh, Susan has managed to keep a lid on it. The official explanation is that she's doing extracurricular training. Even so, that cover story has brought us, has bought us three days. If we can't find her by then, we'll have to report her disappearance to the school. The first and second days have come and gone. If we don't find her today, she's in serious trouble. The beach, the riverbank, the mountains, the barrens. We search until our legs are stiff and sore, but there's no trace of her anywhere. She's a Sunobi student, after all. Only makes sense she wouldn't be easy to track. Homura doesn't usually look this unsettled. If Minara used these three days to get a head start, there's no way we're going to be able to find her. We split up to go on searching individually. I try to imagine how Mirai is feeling. Does she really want to leave Hebijo? It didn't seem like it. And if I'm right about that, she probably hasn't gone far. I search the back alleys of a deserted shops district. Mirai, where are you? Where did you go? The sun is setting. We don't have much time left. As I look high and low, I feel a sensation of deja vu. I remember. I had this experience before. Hmm, diving into Hikage's past, huh? I don't have any parents. My earliest memories take place in an orphanage. I guess I must have been abandoned. Even as a child, I had no emotions. So the other kids used to tease me constantly. But since I didn't feel anything, being called weird or dead face obviously didn't bother me. Most of the kids seemed to find my attitude unpleasant, to put it mildly. At age eight, I escaped from the orphanage. Not for any compelling reason. Not for any compelling reason. I was just uncomfortable, so I thought I'd leave. People can live on their own. If you have nowhere to go, you can live off the clothes on your back, in theory. A child living that way turned out, well, pretty much like you'd expect. An unsavory character. I fell in with a street gang. I don't know how many were in that gang, exactly, since there were a lot, there were a, there was a lot of turnover. Probably around 40 in total. Our leader was a girl named Hinata, maybe 20 years old or so. She had a smooth, she had pr smooth, pretty skin, and always wore trendy clothes. She looked more like a model than a gang member. Despite her look, she was deadly with a knife. Not someone you'd want to cross. She was downright sadistic in a fight, which terrified everyone around her. Just like me, Hinata had escaped from an orphanage. Maybe that's why she noticed me. Whatever reason she had, she took good care of me. Even in the gang, I got teased a lot about my expressionless face. But Hinata was different. She'd tell me there was nothing strange about me. That it was just fine the way I was. She always used to tell me that. It was a weird thing to say, really. At least, no one had tol ever told me anything like that before. She was different from the others. I wanted to be near her. I wanted to hear her voice. I must have followed her around like a puppy for I don't know how long. People can live on their own, but living by yourself is dull. Spending time with Hinata taught me that. Open your heart, people say. Without emotions, I never quite knew if I was doing something right. But 
Maybe. Feeling like I did towards Hinata, that was what opening my heart felt like? Even now, I can't say for sure. One day, someone in our gang screwed up and pissed off a rival gang. It escalated until they wanted us all dead. One after another, our gang members turned up dead. Slaughtered. They had no problem killing our youngest members. I had a few close, pretty close shaves myself. At the rate things were going, we were going to be wiped out. So, he not to set up a parlay. But she never came back from it. I looked for her. I don't even know how many days I kept on searching. The rest of the gang said she'd make a break for it. She made a break for it, okay. But I didn't believe that. Hinata wouldn't abandon the gang. She wouldn't abandon me. Even while everyone else left the hideout one by one, and I searched and searched. One day I happened to look in a back alley behind the shop's district. I saw a familiar looking figure lying in a dumpster. Masaka. Please let me be wrong. God or anyone. Don't take Hinata away from me. I staggered to the front of the dumpster. There lay Hinata, limp as an old rag, illuminated by the orange light of the sunset. Hinata! Hinata! I screamed until my throat hurt, but she didn't answer. Her smooth skin had been slashed to ribbons. I touched her blood-drenched form. I felt how cold she was, how the warmth had been completely drained away. She was dead. Long dead. Her favorite knife lay by her side. I picked it up and gripped it tightly. I held onto it as hard as I could, as if I were holding onto her soul. I felt a strange sensation inside, as if my heart were in free fall. Drip. Drip, drip. Drip, okay. It was like rain. Rainfall inside of me. Mirai. I speak her name without even thinking. I'm passing by a dumpster in the shop's district when I glance inside and see someone dressed like Mirai. The image of Hinata's dead body rushes back to, to my mind. A chill runs down my spine. With a lump in my throat, I approach the dumpster. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> This got really dark. I was not expecting this to get that dark. Holy crap. Okay, she was a lot more traumatized than I thought she was. Holy jeez. Wow. Mirai's body is in the... Gar I'm not... I wasn't talking Mirai. I was talking Hikake, but I both of them are... This is... Mm. <laughs> She's not even twitching. Mirai. Sorry. She's thin as heck. Has she not eaten the last two days? My strength leaves me. I drop to my knees. Then she sits up. She gives me an awkward look. I feel something drip in my heart. Just like when I lost Hinata, there's rain inside me. Mirai looks at me shocked. Well, believe it or not, she has emotions, boys. <laughs> she actually has emotions. Not the best way to go about bringing him out, but she's got him. Crying? Me? That can't be. Ah, she doesn't understand tears of joy. As I say that, I take Mirai's hand. She gives me a tiny smile and offers me a handkerchief. Am I really crying? Am I? 
No, that could never be. I don't have any emotions. Nothing could make me cry. It just can't happen. But... Maybe. Maybe that raindrop feeling in my heart is the sound of tears. Was I really in tears when I was thinking of Hinata and Mirai? If that's true, then maybe I... I dabbed my eyes with Mirai's handkerchief. Oh. I looked down at the fabric. It's just a little bit damp. Very interesting series of events this was. Tamatetara <laughs> ぬけ because it's Mirai <laughs> versus Hikage. This is some music. This is surprisingly a deep episode, to say the least. It's more important we find the scroll first. Whoa! Not really. I'm currently trying to find more important things. Are you kidding me? Where are you? Oh, don't tell me it's a special fight. Oh no, there you are. Camera, please. I think she's stuck. You want to get out of there? <laughs> you want to get out of there? All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm beating you out of the corner. Whoa! I don't even know what to think of this. Ooh, I got lucky I didn't hit me. Oh, I gotta get used to that. Ah, got no itch. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was a weird combo I just did. I can't get anywhere because she's using the playground equipment as a defense. God, she has a ridiculous distance on recovery. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. Hey, 
think I went outside of the map, hilariously enough. Oof! This is such... Alright, we're going this way. We're going down here. We're going down here. This way. Follow me. Come on, Mirai. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Bring it on! I got the achievement for that. Come on. Come on, dum-dum. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. More wide open area. It's better for both of us. Trust me. God, that is a distance you did. Jeez. There we go. This music is extremely sad for the kind of thing we just I just somehow chased. Any second, are you gonna transform, I imagine. Oh, that's cheating. You can shoot through that. Bonk. You gonna change? Stop it. Are you not going to change? <laughs> are you not going to change? What are you doing? What is this fight? I'm just sitting here like, come on. <laughs> it's like I don't even have the desire to even go beat her up because of this. Are you not going to transform? Usually you transform. Oh, I can't do this. Why can't you? Why aren't you transforming? What are you doing? I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to be doing. Oh! Oh, got stunned. That's stunned. That didn't do a lot of damage, surprise. Oh. Woof, that did. Why does it mess up my camera? This is a very weird fight. I'm not really sure what to think of this. I literally don't know if she has a guard breaker. I've never seen it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna just burst finish you in a second here. <laughs> this music still, though. Alright! I was expecting her to do something more than that. <laughs> what is this fight? It could have been a lot faster, but I was also derping around halfway through that fight. <laughs> she clearly was. She never transformed. Oh. みんなに襲いかかっちゃうかもしれない。凶暴化。超秘伝忍法書の任務のことなのか。私。半蔵襲撃の時に。凶暴化しかけたんだ。そうやったか。<笑> 
話は分かったわしは未来を見んかったことにするわ<笑>わしも嫌やあんたと命がけで戦うなんてできんで,でも私を見逃しちゃったらわしのことは気にせんでえはよ逃げるんや。Not what I expected, but okay. Shigina Moyana Mirai to Tatakakoto, Moto Munega Itam. Demo Ano Katsuragi to Tatakakoto, Moto Munega Hazmuyo Nakanjigasru Nanan Yaro, Kore. このわけのわからん感じはもしかしてこれが感情っちゅうもんなんやろか Conflicted Hmm Since a confliction maybe I was just kind of confused I really should go and clear that one That's an easy fight <laughs> Actually, the best. <laughs> like, I was like half tempted to be like, I'll right, just send Daidoji. That'll give her a good old. A good old whack. <laughs> Actually, we're fighting us our next level anyway. Yomi, it is. Mostly because I actually should uh, get her leveled up more. I imagine this should be an easy A, but we'll see. I might be very, very, very wrong on that. <laughs> this music, though. <laughs> Who wants to fight to this music? This isn't battle music at all. Could you imagine trying to play like Street Fighter or Tekken, but the but the very in, but the ending theme of Anohana is playing? Return fire! Wait, hold up. Return fire! <laughs> Turn fire! Playing this. Uh oh. You done messed up now. I knew it. Oh, now she's actually transforming. Wait, what? <laughs> Why didn't she transform last time? What? <laughs> what? She ain't holding her punches now. What is this? Well, if you're not gonna hold your punches, I definitely won't hold my punches. Give me a giant sword to the face. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what is this? I missed. I still hit her actually. Bip, 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 bip. Bip. Giant sword to the face. <laughs> Oh, you 
Lucky dog. Come here, you. Jesus, she went flying that time around. <laughs> Yomi being... Doing, just doing simple Yomi things. I actually still hit it with that! Dang, that's surprisingly accurate. <laughs> I love the animation canceling. Oh, well, that, that didn't even hit me. Alright, that's getting a bit ridiculous. I, well, okay, I'll take the iframes from that. Oh, good dodge. I forgot that's her charge attack, so that's gonna send me flying. Oof. I was gonna say, that's still gonna hit ya. It's got a really stupid, really stupid range. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was a guard break, but it wasn't. I feel like I'm bullying. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to transform. That mission just went really weird. <laughs> Why didn't she transform the first time? I thought it was gonna be an easy A because she wasn't gonna transform. No, she transformed. What? That's a B. Oh, it's an A, okay. I don't know how that numbering. I pretty much did the same. I got the same amount of damage last time. Why is it different? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. What was this entire mission about? Oh. Mirai, wait. Homeda. Hikage kara hanashi wa kita. Dattara, kono mama ikasete yo.私が生末クラスにいたら凶暴化してみんなに。だから私は。未来、聞け。体力や精神力が弱いのなら鍛えればいい。違うか。やるべきことはまず修行。逃げるよりも鍛えることだ。<笑> Am I fighting as Homura or as the Mirai? I would imagine Homura. Yes. Who am I fighting as? <laughs> okay. Not where I was expecting this entire mission to go at all. Oh, okay, so no, I'm fighting as Homura. Oh, great. Hmm. I'm so I'm still confused. Why didn't she transform the first time? The, the game broke me by not transforming and then transforming the second time I tried it.
I'm surprised that still allowed her to do that. I'm just surprised I pulled that off. Wait, there's a there's no there's no scroll here. Woo! Can't really escape that. I'm surprised I parried that. That? What? Okay. She's got a good amount of You can see I'm not doing it. Well, okay, no, I'm doing decently here. Ah! The retaliation she gets in. I'm getting lucky on those purples. I'm pushing my luck. Ooh, that's a force transformation. Wasn't expecting her to do that. <laughs> as soon as she did it, though, I immediately knew what she was doing. Okay, easy. Oh, I can't block it. Wait, can I not block him in here? Or was I mid combo? Ooh, that was a good stun. Alright, this. I forget how much I hate this environment just because there's all these things in the middle. I mean, granted, it's still better than where we were for the initial Hikage fight. Did she just full health me to nothing? How did she do that? She doesn't have that much power to her. What? <laughs> what did she just do? Oh wait, was that the was that the multi shot? So the multi shot technically hit me every single attack hit, so it immediately just shredded through me. That might have been what just happened. So that was that was good right right attack wrong time for me. Oh God. That was dis that that was terrifying. I didn't think she would do that to me. Cause I had pretty much full health. Holy! I didn't think I'd actually lose to Mirai as Homura. But I guess if that that would make sense. I've never seen that happen though. I didn't, I didn't go into it. Yeah, I think it was that attack, except that attack hit me at all spots. Yeah, oh god, that does a lot more than I thought it would. God, okay, that does a lot of damage. Okay, I'm under leveled. That's what that tells me right there, is I'm under leveled. Good God! Where's my... Okay! That should've... Doesn't she usually get her animation interrupted here? Ooh, the street would be a better place to. Ooh, 
Oh, she got out of it! And she put herself into it. Oh, she dodged that last attack there, jeez. She's somehow getting out of a lot of those attacks. There we go. Well, it's advantage only for now. <laughs> I just I landed on the on the food on the rice. God, I didn't think she does that much damage. She she, she always feels like oh well okay. She always feels like she's just a little when I'm playing her because she's probably under leveled. That's probably why. I was not able to react to that at all. <laughs> you don't have advantage now. Oh, you dodged that somehow! Yep, there goes your clothing advantage. <laughs> Got her. No clothing now. Or she's really light. Which is not good for her. There we go. Yeah, you can see how little damage I'm actually doing to her. God! does so much to me. I might actually lose this again just because she does so much. Nope. Ugh, yeah, I ran into that like an idiot. Dodge that. <laughs> Definitely quite the worthy fight. Oh, no, not good. No, oh, I got I got a recovery though from this. But it's gonna be a close call. She got sent so far back. This is actually like one of the more intimidating points. No, dang it! Why is she so strong? Why is she so strong? What is this? I am seriously surprised she does this much to me. Am I really that under leveled? I feel like I'm not that under leveled. I'm just actually getting destroyed though. Holy crap. Give this one last try for the, at least this run. Didn't think I'd lose this. Then again, that was ranged attacks. They do a lot more damage than I thought they would. But they feel so weak when I fight against other players. But then again, I'm also probably underleveled. But at least they have some better intel. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. I don't want to be here. Actually, no, we can't go to the street. It has to be here in the open. 
So really, it just seems like it's better if I'm out in this open area where I have more maneuverability. You gonna come over here? I'm not going to you. That's a kill zone where you... Where... That's a kill zone where I'm at. I don't know which one. I'm not gonna press the D-pad because I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna go over here and force her this way. I'm going in the middle more. Okay, there she goes. There we go. So I have to take my fights very, very carefully. Leading her in the hallway, I don't want to do that. My weakness is going to be in those crowded areas where I can't avoid her ricocheting shots. I have to be a bit more cautious. But she doesn't want to go out there unless I get a good distance away where she has to come closer. But then I bring the fight to her. She's stunned, excellent. There we go. But it all it takes is one good attack from her, and I could be killed or knocked out. Force transformation. I'm not high enough level that I can shred through her like that. I don't think Asuka's high enough level for that. Well, maybe. Five scroll could do it. You could potentially quickly annihilate somebody if you're lucky enough with five scrolls. Taunt. Ooh, stun, nice. I do not want to be fighting her in here. I'm not aiming. You're the one with the actual ranged attacks. All I have is this corkscrew attack. What are you doing? I'm over here. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, look how much damage that does alone. Those are two of the pellets hitting. That got low. I was lucky. Oh, come on. There we go. I can't see that camera. The camera screwed me on that one. Ooh. Come on. I'm not fighting you out there. You have the advantage in that area. I should transform just so I can get. Oh god, okay. She can. <laughs> I'm gonna transform. I just need to get through it. 
I was listening there, I was like, should I not, should I, should I, should I not? I don't know. God, she, she does so much damage though, it's ridiculous. I didn't think she'd be that powerful. It's like I had to play this a lot more carefully, because I didn't think, I, she's a lot stronger than I thought she would be. Wait, just do this. Oh, come on, game, what is this? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, got her. That's all her That's Oh, that, all her clothing is now gone. That's good. She's incredible. What is that acceleration noise? There we go. Yes! That actually was tough. The only reason I had to be cautious about that fight is because she could literally full health me to zero. God! <laughs> Why was she that powerful? That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> no, it took us two tries just to take you out, actually. Actually, three tries. I didn't count. なれるさ。未来なら。強くなるための戦いなら、私がいくらでも付き合っている。ホムラ。でも戻っていいのかな。私 抜け人になってないの。気にするな。今戻れば、お咎めはないだろう。それに、悪は善より寛大だからな。さあ、一緒に帰ろう。<笑> I go even though technically she's been completely stripped due to the burst finish, her hat's still there. God, that fight was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. I still probably got a crappy grade, but god, she does a lot of damage! Good lord. Ying and Yang, probably another chapter completed. New free missions are available. Yeah, that's an end of chapter. Okay, that makes sense. Was it? <laughs> Kage, okay, please. <laughs> okay, I am going to go ahead and say we're good there. Oh and one more, we're done. Anyway. So, well, that was a fight. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode of Santa Cucca Burst Renewal. This is a lot deeper than I thought it was. Also, that last fight was something. Especially compared to the previous one before. Mm. I don't even know what to begin with that one. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I'm just still kind of like... I wasn't expecting her to do that. Can't believe, I, of all the people for me to get stuck on, it's Mirai. I don't know if that's a good sign of things to come, but I hope this probably needs to be a, you need to start leveling up more, which is probably where I need to go. Although I think technically now my lowest level is Haruka. Yeah, 27. Which even then, like, look, 
I finished Hanzo Academy's storyline with. Well, okay, Asuka's at level 48, but that's also because of Asuka. But still, like, level. mid, mid uh, Low to mid 30s, which is pretty much where I'm at with this team. I'm getting close to the 30s now. So, we'll see. But anyway, that'll be all for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next live stream or video that I do. Until then, I'll see you guys all in the near future. Thanks for watching.